All right, it is time for knowledge review number two. We're going to take a look at what you have learned in this section of videos covering variables, expressions, operators, white space, and comments. Believe it or not, we're going to keep things simple. Now, the reason we're doing that is because as of Knowledge Review 3, we're going to start turning the heat up. So right now, I want everybody to be able to relax and follow along with very little difficulty. Though we will throw a slight curveball at you in the second challenge that we're going to present in the three challenges in this Knowledge Review. So we've got three of them we're going to look at, and overall, all three are relatively simple. Now, remember the way Knowledge Reviews work. We simply ask that you listen to the problem we ask you to solve and then pause your video and attempt to solve it. If you would like, go back and watch some of the other videos if you find yourself a bit stuck. Okay, and also, if you do find yourself stuck and you cannot find the answer that you feel comfortable with in a video, hit play, watch how we do it, and then hopefully it will then be embedded in your brain permanently. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll just bring our whiteboard up just in case I need it. All right, now... Our first one, I need you to listen very carefully, because actually I'm not going to write much here. I want you guys to create a simple console application. Within your simple console application, I want you to define three variables. Now listen very, very closely. The variable names are position X, position Y, and position Z. These variables need to be able to hold only whole numbers. That's the only thing they can hold, whole numbers. Make sure you use the camel casing convention when defining these variables. So camel casing. Initialize position X and position Y to some value of your liking. Next, store the sum of position X and position Y into position Z. So again, store the sum of position X and position Y into position Z. Finally, write the contents of position Z out to the console. So whatever's in position Z, write it out to the console. All right, so with that, what I want you to do is pause now. So pause now, try it out. Logan and I are just going to sit here and talk for a minute. How's it going, man? Going all right. All right, you about ready to write this? Oh, yeah, let's do we're, it. We're going to write this in a second. Hopefully they paused it, and by now they've come back. So let's treat it like they just came back. Hey, welcome back. All right, so... This very first problem. Logan, go ahead and bring up Visual Studio. All right. Let's see if you can write this extremely complex application. Okay. Console app. Okay. Now, inside here, again, define three variables. I was very careful not to use the word declare three variables. Hopefully, you guys remember that's what we're doing. We are declaring three variables. Their names are position X, Y, and Z, and I told you that they could only hold whole numbers. That means they have to be of type integer. I also said to make sure that you use the camel casing convention. Remember, that's all lowercase. Well, excuse me, the first character is always lowercase. And then starting our second word begins uppercase. So position X, notice how the X is capitalized. So you should have everything lowercase except for the X. All right, so let's go ahead and terminate that and do the same for position Y and position Z. All right, the next thing I said was initialize position X and Y to some value of your liking. So using the assignment operator, Logan initializes position X to 2 and position Y to 5. Next, I said store the sum of position X and position Y into position Z. So position Z, assignment operator, so it's equal to position X plus position Y. And then finally, I said to write the contents of position Z out to the console. So 
So we'll use our simple console.writeLine, position Z, and that is the application that you should have written following our very specific directions. Logan, let's go ahead and put in a read line so that it doesn't flicker. And let's execute. And, of course, the result is 7. Very good. So, again, take a very close look. This is what I was looking for you to write. Now, make sure you respect it white space. Notice how everything is indented in the main method. Everything is indented. It's all at the same level of indention. The key thing is, it is indeed indented. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and jump back over. That's challenge number one. So we'll come back over here. And now what I would like to do is come back over to my whiteboard, just in case I need it. This next one is going to be a little bit more challenging. We're going to ask you to write a method, and we're going to ask you to accept information into that method. We have looked at this before. I've actually drawn the structure of it out on a whiteboard before, though we have more advanced and complete method lessons coming up. Let's see if you guys recall how to do this. So listen very carefully. Create a simple console application. Create a new method inside the console application named show text use pascal casing for the method name define show text in such a way that it accepts one string parameter this parameter's name needs to be meaningful for what your method show text is going to do Use the camel casing convention for the parameter name. Now, have show text write the value of this parameter to the console. Finally, call the show text method from within your main method. Don't forget to send it some text. Okay? That's what we're looking for you to do. It's a little bit more challenging. But you guys have written multiple methods before. You did it in knowledge review number one. This time around, we're looking for you to simply accept a parameter into your method. So see if you can remember how to do that. So what I want to do, come in here real quick, and we'll just bink, tell you to pause now. If you missed anything I said, you can always back back up and listen to it again. So pause now and try to solve this challenge. All right, Logan, we'll just sit here for a second and talk a little bit more. I think it's all going pretty good. I'm sure they're following along with very little difficulty. But I'll tell you what, some of the future knowledge reviews are going to be quite interesting. We're going to be able to introduce all sorts of challenging stuff to them. Oh, hey, what do you know? They're back. So with them being back, I guess we can jump back on over. As a matter of fact, you go ahead and do it. And let us go ahead and just delete everything inside there. We'll just use our same. There we go. So we're back to the template used to create a simple console application. Now, Logan, let's start out by following our instructions here. We've got a simple console application up. First thing I asked you to do was create a new method. Okay. So I'm going to jump below the main method to define our custom method, which I'm going to define as a, a static. static void or, yeah, static void. Show, show text. text. And we asked you to use Pascal casing, and that is what Logan has done here. Pascal casing meaning the very first character is capitalized. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do an open parenthesis, and we ask that it accept it one string parameter. So a string, and we said use some sort of name that's meaningful. And with that name, make sure you use camel casing. So we're just sending over some text to print out, so call it text. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and define our structure. Very good. All right, now, we said that inside of our method, have it simply write the text that you receive into the parameter out to the console. All right, let's grab console. Tell it to write a line, and then we'll feed it our text parameter. All right, very nice. 
And finally, we said, call the show method from within your main method. And don't forget to send us some text. Show text. And what do you want to send it for a text? Uh, call it knowledge review 2. We'll send knowledge review 2 as our text. Knowledge review 2. And on the next one, let's go ahead and have it do a read line so that our application will pause so we can see our text. Beautiful. So study it, look at it, execute it. Knowledge review 2. So it has indeed been written out to the console. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Very simple. So again, we're creating a new method. So we have our main method right here. Then we're creating a new method. We asked you to create the new method in such a way that it accepted a string parameter. We asked you to use Pascal casing. We asked you that the parameter be named in such a way that it used camel casing. We told you to simply write out whatever comes into this method. And then we told you to go back to main and call the method. And don't forget to send it some text. All right. Well, let's leave this up because we're going to need this very simple console application for our next small challenge. So let me go ahead and jump back over in here. And at this point, don't pause. Instead, we'll come down here and bring up our whiteboard momentarily. The final challenge is use XML documentation to describe the method show text and the parameter it accepts. Again, use XML documentation to describe the method show text and the parameter it accepts. So we'll just come back in here. Pause now. All right, well, they should be pausing right about now, Logan, and hopefully they will have no difficulty remembering how to use these XML documentation comments. All right, they should be back by now. So let us go ahead and, well, Logan, you can do it, jump back over into Visual Studio. And again, we just asked them to use some XML documentation comments to describe show text and the parameter it accepts. So go for it. And this one is actually really easy if they remember to go and set the comment right before the object they're describing. So if I take our show text method and one line before it, drop down three forward slashes. It finishes almost everything for you. It noticed the show text method. It gave us the tags to write a summary and the tags to write a comment for the parameter. So we can simply fill this in. This method shows the given text. Okay. And say this is the text to show. Of course, you could be a little bit better about describing this, thinking about this from an external sense, saying something more generic like text to be shown instead of writing out this. And oh, yeah, of that. course. All right, now let's go ahead and just demonstrate that it's working by coming up there. Actually, you can just play up, put your mouse over it, or write it out either way. So we've got show text... And it doesn't want to show the... Uh, there it oh, is. There we go. It's, it's coming up. All right, so this method shows the given text. Now do an open parenthesis. And there is our text information. This is the text to show. Let's finish this off just to finish the line. And, and there we go. execute the app. And knowledge review 2 and text. Very good. That is going to wrap up. Knowledge review number two. Yes, I know. It was a simple one. There was a lot of things that we could have tested you on. That's coming up. We just need a little bit more so that we can make some, well, let's just say, more interesting applications. Yeah. But for now, this will do. And with that, we are now concluding this section of language fundamentals number one, and we're ready to move on to flow control number one. Thanks a lot.